How long have I been in lockdown? Today marks day 74 and a girl is tired. It's been hard. <laughs> I've been in lockdown with my partner Swoo, my friend and neighbor Hunter, and I suppose my friend Mbunge, they're in town. Um, they're alone in lockdown, but we've been in contact via texts, voice notes, video calls and the likes. None of us have been in a pandemic before. It's been wild. <laughs> it's been a time to be alive. Who is it? Who's it by? La Donna. La Donna. Initially, I thought I would document a story about love and lockdown. Uh, naturally because the person I uh, have immediate contact with on a daily basis is my romantic partner. But in my experience of the lockdown, I realized that going into documenting this, I want to capture a broader love. You could just live with your friends and call that the family you go home to. Mbunga just um, sent me a voice note about um, just how they're um, finding lockdown and whether they anticipated that it would be longer than the 21 days. Well, because of like my research, I'm doing like COVID-19 research, um, it was just like, it's just like impractical because every other country had to do more than 21 days. And so it was like, yeah, I think even like at minimum three months. So I just, thought it was going to be longer but I'm usually like a generally very pessimistic person so I just assume the worst is going to happen and that we're going to just be here forever and for at least a year because there's no way like how are we going to in the one days and what Cyril is going to find us a vaccine <laughs> no <laughs> um I just woke up um uh, today is the first of June, um, also my birthday month, um, and today marks the first day of the softening up of the lockdown from level four to level three, uh, which means liquor sales. So uh, we're gonna go find out what's happening, how the queues are looking. I don't know if I know how to do it yet. Maybe if I got a proper tutorial. <laughs> I haven't painted my nails in a week. I also bought myself nail polish. So I like bought myself a glow up essentially. I this bag everywhere because it just makes me feel like no one can tell me that I'm not going to get groceries when I've got this bag. I think I go shopping too much. <laughs> Do you remember when I got stopped here? Not got stopped, my car stopped. I ran out of petrol. I didn't miss it or whatever. And then the alcohol sale comes back. It's just like, it's so great. Just having alcohol in my house makes things feel normal. Rhodes University, you know it's, it's like what, nine? Second day is closing. I miss seeing people running for it. I miss like those old couples with their trolleys full of like wine on wine. Hunter and I just got back from our little liquor run and part of our conversation on the way there that I didn't really catch was um, about how we think the pandemic is changing history. It's got me thinking a lot about um, the face of celebrity and uh, public figures and how their impact um, during this pandemic is changing. Um, so, yeah, I just want to pick Hunter's brain about what she thinks about that, um, what what she's observed. I think with 
the response to George Floyd. Mm. It doesn't seem like it's something that's just going to be a hashtag and blow over. It seems like a real change, like people are yeah. not going to accept anything less. They're not going to accept it. So did you see the Beyonce video? Yeah, I did. How did you feel about it? Like, I do understand my place in the situation. Mm. But it seemed very like love and unity and like... Mm. Uh, it Friendship. seemed all lives matter. Yeah. Which I assume, like, based on Beyonce, everything else, that's mm. not what she was trying to get at. But at the same time, mm. like, I don't think at this point in history we actually have space to make assumptions. Yeah. How did you feel? Um... Honestly, Hunter, I was really, because I posted on Instagram and I was kind of like, I felt like it was very PR, mm. very, like, men, very um, performative. It's bae, you know, and yeah, I yeah, love yeah. her too, but I was like, I think this is a lot of shit that's not going to fly anymore, this PR approach. Like, I don't think it matches the outrage. And I was, like, really scared of, like, just approaching it from an angle where I'm producing how, like, black people and, like, um like people of color respond mm -hmm. but um i'm also just like you need to give us more like i think it's a conversation to be had right yeah i think like something interesting is like time frames so it's like what like constitutes silence versus getting your shit together and making a statement and then when is a statement our final statement and that's what mm -hmm. we're saying that that's what you said um, I think you can like overtly express that that like you're still like digesting or processing mm. like your feelings like as a public figure and I think okay. we'll like hear you like I think I think silence is is not saying anything at all not like showing like expressing that you are aware of what's mm. happening and you're still processing at least you know the cons are endless but I think the biggest one is the gym I just need the gym, man, to get hot. Nothing else matters in life, bro. <laughs> You're a super kind of I don't even know. What I think I took for granted before COVID is obviously like, I'm, I'm generally like a very non contact type of person, but the other day I did find myself going, oh my god, I've missed hugs. So, like, um, physical contact, I think I took for granted how much that means to me. Can't smile at people in masks, but you can really tell when someone's smiling because you crinkle. My friends have, you know, shown up as love too, and it's the experience has really got me thinking about how we uh, construct family, the idea of family, um, and typically that's uh, the nuclear family, but this pandemic is so isolating that you have to consider the people in your immediate proximity and the people in my proximity have become my family in this period so i'm i'm playing with the idea of chosen family We're good. We're good, thank you. Okay, okay. one time. Baby. Bye bye. Bye.